Panan Kashmir Kashmiri, Panuna Kashmira Devanagari, known Kashmir Nistalik is an organization of displaced, refugee Kashmiri Pandits Kashmiri Hindus founded in December 1990 in Jammu, in order to demand that a separate and safe homeland for Kashmir's Hindu population be carved out of the overwhelmingly Muslim valley of Kashmir. Almost the entire Pandit population was expelled from Kashmir in 1990 by separatist militants for their allegedly pro-India political beliefs. Topic. Origin and etymology Panan Kashmir means our own Kashmir in Kashmiri. The Panan Kashmir organization was founded in 1990 after the ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri Hindus from the Indian state of Kashmir, under threat from Islamic terrorists managed by Pakistan's intelligence services. According to external estimates between 150,000 and 300,000 Hindus were expelled as a result of this ethnic cleansing, Panan Kashmir estimates are even higher at nearly 700,000 people. Grievances <inaudible> 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 Panan Kashmir believes that Kashmir's Hindu culture is under threat from Muslim culture, separatists. The organization also believes that Hindus in Kashmir and Jammu have been discriminated against by Kashmiri authorities since 1949, and that Hindus have been neglected at the expense of appeasement of Muslims due to Article 370, and various policies instituted by different Indian governments. While it accepts that Kashmir's population is larger than Jammu's, it believes that Kashmir's dominance of politics in Jammu and Kashmir is a result of minority appeasement and not democratically elected majorities which would reflect the demographics of Kashmir. <laughs> <laughs> Goals of Pan and Kashmir Kashmiri Hindus have demanded a separate state or union territory, as a means to protect themselves from attacks by separatist militants, while at the same time preserving Kashmiri Hindu culture. The organization claims to have unshakable faith in the unity and integrity of India. It is wedded to secularism, democracy, rule of law and respect for all religious faiths. It is opposed to communalism, religious fundamentalism and terrorism in any form or guise. The organization also wishes for displaced Hindus to be termed refugees rather than migrants, which they allege is the term used by the state administration for their community. Further, the organization claims that its goal is broad enough to not only encompass the cause of Kashmir's Hindus, but also India's very survival and territorial integrity. Panan Kashmir recognizes Kashmir's Muslim majority as formerly Hindu, who were forced to convert to Islam. Panan Kashmir wishes that Kashmir's existing Hindu population be considered as a part of the native inhabitants of Kashmir. The organization claims that Kashmir's Muslim community has descended from Hindus that were forced into Islam, thereby resulting in the Hindu population of Kashmir becoming a minority because they were either killed or forced out of Kashmir, while the Muslim population grew as invading armies settled Muslims in the valley. Topic. Proposed homeland. The organization passed a resolution in 1991 demanding that a the establishment of a homeland for the Kashmiri Hindus in the valley of Kashmir comprising the regions of the valley to the east and north of River Jhelum b that the constitution of India be made applicable in letter and spirit in this homeland in order to ensure right to life, liberty, freedom of expression and faith, equality and rule of law c that the homeland be placed under the central administration with a union territory status, and d that all the 700,000 Kashmiri Hindus, including those who have been driven out of Kashmir in the past and yearn to return to their homeland and those who were forced to leave on account of terrorist violence in Kashmir, be settled in the homeland on an equitable basis with dignity and honor. That is, Panan Kashmir's advocates wish for the majority of the Valley of Kashmir, cities such as Srinagar, Anantnag, Sapur, Baramala, Varmal, and Awantapura be included in the Kashmiri Hindu homeland. However, the organization claims that it in fact does not seek a Hindu homeland rather, it seeks a homeland for Kashmiri Pandits who are Hindus and are ready to live peacefully with their Muslim neighbors. Indian official sources put least 38,000 families, mostly Hindus of which 34,202 Pandit, 2,168 Muslim and 1,749 Sikh families have migrated from the valley to other parts of the country. 
According to Indian official sources, since 1989, a total of 219 Kashmiri pandits were killed, including those who died in Jammu due to blasts and firings after pandits had migrated from Valley. Out of the total 219 killings, at least 129 were witnessed between March 1989 and December 31, 1990, during which pandits left Valley. Pandan Kashmir is an organization that upholds secularism, while at the same time rejecting communalism. Most of the Kashmiri pandits of Panin Kashmir have been witness to the ethnic cleansing of Hindis and Sikhs in the Kashmir Valley by majority of Muslims supported by fundamentalist outfits. Some articles in this regards are given below. The Kashmiri Hindus have already committed the mistake of trusting their Muslim counterparts five times in the past. How long can the minority Hindu community live in bondage and at the mercy and whim of the Muslim majority? References External links Panangkashmir. In Panangkashmir.org Jammu and Kashmir, The Tribune India